Hi, my name is John Schneider with HDRental.com. We rent the Vinton Osprey Elite pedestals. Uh, we have the latest version of the Elites, which are the black ones. Uh, and you can tell uh, the difference between the newer ones and the older ones. The uh, older ones are gray like this one, and we don't carry many of the gray ones anymore. So we'll just move off to the side. So the Vinton Black Osprey Elite is an extremely versatile pedestal. Um, it weighs under 100 pounds, so it can be uh, put on trucks with two people, even one person can do it. It can go in and out of doorways. We ship these all over the United States and Canada. In fact, we've shipped them all over the world. Um, we have the shipping capabilities for them to go anywhere. It's not a problem. The Osprey Elites go out on a lot of different type of shows. They go out on talk shows, game shows, they've even gone out on cinema shoots. But we also see them going out on shows like red carpet shows where they, you know, the pedestals need to be picked up, they need to be moved over a curb, they need to be moved around quickly um, in different situations. So they really lend themselves that, that, to that type of versatile shooting. Um, we've done World Poker Tour. Um, we recently did a Miley Cyrus concert at the Ryman Theater in Nashville. And uh, one thing to point out is that the pedestals can actually be uh, put on standard uh, dolly track uh, Vinton makes a thing called the skid dolly, which we have, uh, which you actually put on the bottom and then the whole, the whole system can go on track. And you, you can see on many concerts where uh, you'll see a Vinton pedestal being tracked along, two of them usually tracked along the front of a stage. So today we want to give you a quick tutorial on how to balance the Vinton Osprey Elite pedestal. So a couple of things we want to check before we do any kind of balancing. We want to check the legs, make sure they're in their operating position. And as I look down, I can see that their legs are both retracted. So I'm going to come down here and put them back into operating position by, there's a dial down here you just press and it'll click in. And I'll press here and that'll click in. So now they are in their operating position. And it is kind of nice that you can retract these legs for shipping and getting them in and out of doorways. And you can even operate them with the legs in a retracted position, but um, it's, it's cool. So anyway, we have the legs in operating position. The second thing we want to do is check the air pressure. So what we don't want to do is lift the column if there's no air pressure and that could damage the column. So we want to have at least 50, 50 pounds of pressure in the, in the ped before we lift it. So first thing we want to do is come down here and look for the dial. There is a pressure gauge on here. And as I turn that, I can see the dial. And as I'm looking, I see that there's no pressure in there. So the next thing we're going to do is try to put some pressure into this ped and then we'll start the balancing process. Well, the best way to do that is with a nitrogen bottle and a regulator. Anytime you rent from us in the LA area, you'll always receive a free regulator nitrogen bottle and handy dandy crescent wrench. If we have to ship to you out of state, then you'll have to rent the bottle from your local air gas store. We can't ship the bottles because they're under high pressure. So air gas is a nationwide company and they have locations everywhere. I've never called any city that didn't have it. And you, they, they rent all types of air and gas products and you can rent the tank probably like for 30 bucks for the week. It's real easy and we can also help you facilitate that. So now that we have our tank and our regulator, um, let's go ahead and put the, show you how to put the regulator onto the tank and then we'll put some air into the ped and we'll start balancing it. Okay, so let's put the regulator into the nitrogen bottle and you can see we have a brass fitting here that we are going to screw into the nitrogen bottle and sometimes that can be a little tricky, but Looks like we're going here and we're going to hand tighten it um, until we get it most of the way in. And then of course we have our handy dandy crescent wrench comes free with all rentals in my pocket back here. I'm going to pull that out and what we want to do here is we want to make sure this is pretty tight. We also want to make sure that our valve on the nitrogen tank, uh, nitrogen bottle is closed for sure on that. So, um, so I'm going to give that a good push and now we're ready to open the valve on the tank and so as you can see we have two gauges here this gauge is going to show us how much pressure we have in the tank and this this tank is highly pressurized so it's probably going to be about 12,000 pounds this gauge shows us what we have coming out of into the hose and into the pad and then it's interesting to note too that um, you only see the pressure as it's coming out so let's go ahead and open up the tank and again, you saw that pressure valve pop way up to 12,000. So again, we got a rocket ship here under pressure. And then um, we can take this valve here. And as we turn it right, we will uh, increase the pressure coming out. And that's about where we want to start off with when we fill the pad. We got about 200 pounds. 
we may have to go up, but we can adjust that. Okay, so now we're ready to put some air into the pedestal. And as you can see, we can see all of our gauges. We got our tank gauge, we got our output gauge, and then we have the gauge on the ped. And we kind of want to be able to watch all of those gauges. So then we have our standard Schrader valve, um, which will go on to the Schrader receiver on the pedestal. So I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's barely any air in there. What I'm going to try to do is put about 100 pounds of pressure into the ped. Now, you don't have to worry about the ped coming up because the ped is locked into position now. And we'll show you how to unlock that in a second. But let's go ahead and take our Schrader valve and watch the valve as we go ahead and put air in there. And as you can see, it's coming up. And we're going to go to 100 pounds. And you can see that it's locked in position. And I'm going to go over a little bit over 100. And as we go over 100, we can see that we may have needed to like give ourselves a little more pressure here, but we got a little over 100 pounds here. Okay, now that we have over 100 pounds of pressure in the ped, we can be in the balancing process. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna release the column, okay? So we're gonna press down and we're gonna release a lever right there in the front. Now, as we do that, we wanna make sure that we're holding it and we don't want it to come up and injure us in any way. It can also injure the ped if you just let it fly up on its own. So I'm gonna press down. Standing over it, being careful, I'm going to press down, use some of my weight. You can see it go down, and then there's this lever here. I'm going to release it, and then I'm going to guide it up, not letting it fly up on its own. There. And so now we have a ped with over 100 pounds of pressure. So to start the balancing process, I'm going to add weight, and we don't have a camera today, so I'm going to add some sandbags. Each sandbag weighs 25 pounds, so I'm going to add the sandbags while still keeping my gauge uh, or my, my Schrader valve, valve available. So if I have to subtract air, which I will have to do in this situation. So again, we don't see anything happening here because we have over 100 pounds of pressure and we only have 75 pounds of pressure. So the goal in balancing this pedestal is for the operator to move it almost with his finger, like his, like his pinky, he should be able to move it anywhere and wherever he stops, it should stay there and be in balance. Now on the back, you can't see, but we'll give you a close up. We have a locking lever. And right now it's not locked, but once we dial in, if you want to lock it in place, you can also lock it in place. So first thing we do obviously is we've got to uh, release some of the air. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add air, we're gonna subtract air, and we're also gonna use these weights that are included. You get six of these weights, which you can put here to also help uh, dial in the balance. So let's take a sharp object here and I'm going to grab my glasses so I can see the Schrader valve because I'm old and I'm going to take some air out. Now as I take air out I'm going to feel the pedal will start to go down a little bit. So I'm going to a little bit more. There we go. And I can feel that it's starting to feel pretty good. I can just bring it down but again that's not balanced. I'm going to take a little more air out. There we go. So again, we have our locking lever is in the release mode. It's on the green. Um, and you can see that we'll be able to move this and it's coming up. It's coming up a little bit, not too much. So we're getting really close. I could add some weights, but I think in this situation, I'm just going to take a little more air out and I can always got my trusty tank here. If I, if I go too far, I can put more air in. So we're not worried about that. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to take a weight off at this time. We can always add a weight. So I'm going to move it. No hard pressure there. It seems to be staying. I'm going to bring it down. It looks pretty good. Move it all the way down. So again, the operator should be able to take his pinky, move it to wherever he wants, and he should be able to operate there without having to. He should not at any time have to either press down or pull up to hold it. Now, when I get a position that I really like, and I'm going to be staying there, I can go ahead and put the locking mechanism into effect. And now we're, we're locked in there pretty tight. Now, be aware that the locking mechanism only really works when your, pedest when your pedestal's balanced. Um, it doesn't work if you had, you know, 165 pounds on here and you only had 50 pounds of pressure, you couldn't use it. But once you're close to being balanced, your locking mechanism um, will be right on. So I think we're, we're pretty close here. But um, now the operator can basically put it anywhere and operate. And that's the basics of uh, balancing a pedestal. Um, so um, we really we appreciate you watching the video. And if you ever need to rent pedestals, please give us a call. 
um, or you can go to our website at hdrental.com. And again, we have 24 seven service, uh, free pickup and delivery in the LA area. And again, as, as mentioned earlier, we ship all over the United States and Canada and, and all over the world for that matter. So thanks again for watching.